Hey, before we get started on this week's episode, I just want to say, yeah, COVID sucks, and been out sick, both me and Laura, but we're both feeling better, and we're back with our regular schedule starting today with the Geeky Grind, so let's get started. Hey, honey? Yeah, what's up? It's your board barista Fed, and this is the Geeky Grind era of show where I talk about the nerd stuff that I've been working on during the week. And as you can see, my Necron Monolith is still in sub assemblies, only at the black primer step. But I did start masking off the little ball of death on the top so I can get the Zenithal highlighted and start painting process. Uh, what I actually did get to go do is I went to a tournament. No, I didn't go to a 40k tournament. I went to Star Wars Unlimited Spark Rebellion pre-release was today over at Gopher Games and I got some interviews with my each of my opponents as well as the TO for you uh, coming up. I just want to talk about what I played. I played Sabine Wren. Uh, definitely was enjoying this. Went two and two so I had two wins, two losses. Uh, definitely Better than most of my pre-releases I always played for Magic. Uh, always end up basically going one and three. Not having a good even tie, even bre even match numbers of wins and losses. Usually I pretty much take a nosedive at sealed deck. But today went 50-50. So happy with that. Got some cool pulls. Everything. I'm going to show my sealed pool in a moment. But let's... Uh, yeah, let's check in with uh, people and get some first reactions of what they think of the game. Hey, this is uh, Dan Zimmerman, otherwise NerdyDan.com on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, etc. Uh, just played a game of uh, Star Wars Unlimited. It's a great game. Uh, I really enjoyed it so far. Um, it's, you know, I definitely would recommend getting into it. It's really fun. It's, the mechanics are really great, smooth. They put a lot of thought into it. And, uh, uh, just played against Warren Marista, really great guy and fun to play against as well. So I'm just give it a shot. Give him a follow, give me a follow too. Um, I mean, yeah, getting back into two uh, trading card card games and uh, haven't really played for quite a while, but definitely enjoyed the new Star Wars game. Uh, lots of uh, adventures to uh, go in the future. Um, and to, uh, uh, you know, learn. <laughs> and your name is? Mark. Mark. Yep. It was uh, a, a fun time. A fun definitely time. Definitely a fun time. Thank you, man. Yeah. Thank you. My name is Joshua. Um, Star Wars Unlimited. Uh, uh, it's fun. I, I like, uh, I pulled a legendary. Uh, Luke Skywalker. Oh, you got the legendary unit one? Yeah, the legendary unit one. I got a Vader. Um, that's what I was trying to pull out. The, uh, Nice. So you had both the... the and you, you, you played the leader, Luke. And you, you can play both of them, apparently, because... Uh, they don't it, share it, the same uh, full card name. Yes. Yeah. So that's different than other Star Wars games I've played recently. I um, also have one of the uh, yeah, I did not rare get any lands. of the rare locations. Turkin Town. <laughs> but uh, I, I think the big thing is um, making sure you have plenty of ones and twos to play because I don't think I got enough in the seal to really... Yeah, your deck had a lot of high cost and stuff and I was just able to out pace you, go wide. I, it just, I had lots of... Yeah, I mean, even the stuff I didn't pick was high. So, I think it's just the luck of the draw on that. 
Yeah. It's fun. I like it. It's, it is fun. I'm really uh, enjoying it. I think I found my, I think I found my new fix. <laughs> uh, I'm Dan. Um, just uh, I like systems analysis, so any new card game is good. Um, there are some interesting uh, interactions that I like, and the back and forth seems interesting. Uh, I'm Gary Plattner. I run the the Star Wars yeah, universe, Star so Wars Unlimited uh, events at <laughs> yeah, Games. Right? Uh, I've also got the, the blue one, so I need, I need to make a blue pre-release tournament today, it and it's great. Uh, what I like about the game is everything. Uh, the, <laughs> the variant artwork is very good. Um, the gameplay is great, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, what's the plan for events going forward? Uh, we're still working on a exact date of the a day of the week. Uh, but we will be running sealed events, hopefully every week, um, and then constructed events every other week, probably. So. Okay. Sounds good. All right, thank you. Yeah, thanks. All right, so like I said, with my sealed pool, I play Sabine as my leader. And I had the administration tower as my location. Uh, for deck contents, I had precision fire, spectral soul. Spec 4 Soldier, Mission Briefing, Benthic Tutus, this one actually, and, and the Spec 4 Soldier, these ones are going to stay in the deck, uh, because I do want to play the Sabine Aggro deck, as you can see, I built it out of my seal pool, but, uh, Vanguard Ace, Partisan Insurgent, uh, I got one copy of Spark of Rebellion, I got a regional sympathizers. That was just, uh, I just figured I'd try something to give me a little restore. Never actually got a chance to play it. Underworld Thug, you know, it's limited. You're going to play a bunch of these uh, generic cards just to be able to be like, okay, if I can go on anything. Wampa, that is definitely good. Didn't get a chance to use the Overwhelm. A lot of people saw this come out and they were just like, kill it as fast as we can. So. Lando, I was figuring, like, I got a lot of really cool tactics and events, so I was like, if I can resource them early when I don't need them, and then pull them out when I hit Lando, so I was trying to, like, work a little hard for it, but, you know, his saboteur to get around shields and stuff like that was definitely why I wanted to play him. Uh, Liberator Gunship, really good ambush, this was nice to have, be able to drop this out, kill their space dude. And go ahead, uh, Occupy your Siege Tank. Again, another card. I really didn't get a chance to play with it all that much. Usually by the time it either came out or by the time I saw it, uh, games was pretty much decided either my favor or my opponent's. A Fleet Lieutenant, really good to be able to just play that and just get a plus two, plus O, oh, bash in. Speaking of giving plus two, plus O oh, and bashing in. Um, the Ardent Sympathizer, it was really... Like, I had so many drops, and I was able to put, like, go wide. I had a real go wide strategy. It was hard for me to actually be able to seize the initiative. Um, so I think I'm going to have to spend some time playing around with this a bit more to really figure it out. Freedom, Fighters for Freedom, it's totally a staple. Able to get around shields, just playing more aggression creature uh, units, getting more damage in. That I loved. Crafty Smuggler, uh, using him just to be able to plink off last bit of damage on somebody and have that shield go away and still have a 2-2 body left over. That was actually pretty good. Sneak it lackeys. Another decent ambush. Uh, basically it was a lot of times I'd play this and i just trade uh, as soon as it came out. It would, it would kill off their big thing and yeah, really good removal piece for limited. Um, Carablast. Didn't get a chance to really play this all that much. Uh, actually didn't get to play it hardly at all usually uh, resource this but I think there was a lot of times where I was like I wish I had this in my hand because they had a lot of unit like there were one of my last opponent had a lot of units on the table that just had one damage left on them if I could just plink off the one damage they try to stabilize good morning guards this was amazing um, because of having all those other uh, yellow units I'm still trying to remember what the faction name is for that but, uh, uh, yeah, just having matching color units, giving this Sentinel. Uh, Sentinel really is a stop and make you think mechanic in limited. Um, did not really value it as high as I did uh, Saboteur. But 
definitely want to try next time I build a sealed deck to play as all the Sentinel cards I can get my hands on. Partisan, Insur Partisan Insurgent, another really good one. Just being able to drop out another aggression red unit and giving it raid two. Love that. Uh, restock. I put this in just because I'm like, mm, maybe I need to get some stuff back into my deck, but the 30 minute rounds and playing, we weren't really, like, the game felt fast, so I'm like, I really need to put four cards from my discard pile back in the bottom of my deck, there's no way to shuffle your deck, so I'm like, starting to think that maybe restock is not really the best thing right now maybe later in future sets or maybe i'm missing something but i'm like i probably should have played another unit instead of that snow speeder this was this was nice just the ambush and then getting to exhaust a uh, vehicle unit that helped out a lot being able to drop this down there and keep a problem some unit tapped for uh for a while getting in that damage i really like that Gorilla Ground Pod, uh, another one I didn't get to play a lot on the table because it had, uh, you know, it had such a high cost and usually by the time that I saw this, it was either way too early or uh, I just already had everything on the table ready to go. Um, snapshot Reflexes, yeah, just uh, pay one to get plus one plus one and attack when you play this. Didn't really play it. Uh, I didn't play it a lot. I pretty much every time I saw it, I kind of like needed to resource it because I needed units. Um, I think I really overvalued a lot of the uh, a lot of the upgrades and stuff like that when I was putting this deck together. Lothal and Sur Surgeant, <laughs> just a cool cool dude who's got the right keyword of rebel and three attack. For two, that's awesome, and basically messing with your opponent's hand, making them have to think, okay, did I lose the good card I wanted, I was planning on? Yeah, it's it's it was fun. Uh, disabling Fang Fighter, be able to defeat and upgrade. Shields are upgrades, so this actually helped me out with taking out some shields. Really like that. Uh, confiscate, defeat and upgrade. You know, it's... Not, I, I wish this would have been another Fang Fighter, really. Uh, again, I was really, I think I, one of the things I went, did wrong is I played way too many events and not enough units. There were a lot of times where I just had, like, when I lost games, I was holding hands full of events and nothing really to put them on. Waylaid, that, that was a nice, good game changer, just being able to pay three to bounce something. Just totally making somebody take their entire turn off for that. Waylaid is totally a staple of this format. And then General Dodona. Um, other friendly rebel units get plus one, plus one. The being a four cost and being a four, four is cool and all, but yeah, no. Um, I think General Veers, the uh, dark side version of this, is a lot better with him only costing three. You can get him down early. And actually start really sticking stuff in. Um, there's a lot of other like plays that I want to do on turn four that wasn't really him. Uh, and yeah, it's usually just died. Uh, I think he di I think he just straight up died the one turn. One time I got to play him, I played him out, and he was the only thing I had to play, and just died. Didn't really do anything, so I'm like. Mm -hmm. I think I kind, of, I kind of fell into a little bit of a trap here, but all in all, fun games. Definitely can't wait to play it, play again. Um, just to give some people out there, I know a lot of armchair players like to comment, like, "Well, what else was in the rest of your sealed pool?" You know, that wasn't just all you had to play with. You probably could have built something better. So we'll show you the rest of the sealed pool. Um, Got another Underworld Thug, uh, Del Marco, Han Solo, Jin Urso. Jin, yeah, this is one nasty leader. That whole ability of being able to activate her to attack with a with a unit and give the defender minus one, minus zero, it makes it a lot of 
being able to attack in, not take damage, or just make it so I kill yours and my dude survives on one. Really good. And the flip side ends up being like everything once she flips, it's really backbreaking. Um, so I think in the future, I mean, I could have probably swapped this out and played Jin and just played a different base. The Chimera, I didn't really play a lot of these high cost cards. I wanted my curve to kind of stop at six. I want to play a nice low to the ground aggressive thing, but if I did have more options to play Dark Side, um, I think Chimera would have probably made the cut. Would have been in there if I was playing. Um, I got Chewbacca. I got the whole, it binds all things together, the whole heal three, and then if you have a force unit, you can just BAM! that three damage on something else that I I ate that I ate a copy of that during one of my games just killed up just healed up their base well healed up their unit and then uh, basically killed my dude so, uh, I got an IG-88 in the uh, the hyperspace variant borderless that looks really cool I got Abner Akbar like I said speaking of it's a trap um I got Bright Hope. I got the Grand Inquisitor. Uh, this is what I was starting to think. Like maybe I could play Green Black, uh, you know, Command Villainy deck. So I was looking through, seeing what I had for stuff. Uh, Command Villainy Aggression was actually what I was thinking about playing. And I'm like, oh, I got Super Laser Technician, so I could have you know ramped. I got the Gladiator Star Destroyer. So I can give something Sentinel. I got tag. So I could like put some point. I could put some uh, experience points in my troopers. But I didn't have a lot of trooper. I did have a good number of troopers. Oh, I'm looking at this, and I really should have played. I really should have played the red, green, black. Because I had I had Vader, and I got the pre-release uh, Vader and Luke still in their sealed package. Ah. Well, as G.I. Joe likes to say, knowing is half the battle. And General Carl. But he would have cost, like, seven to play in that deck. But. I can base Defender. Another good Sentinel. But. A copy of Vanquish. Uh, I'm trying to think. Ruthless Raider, one player defeated. Oh man. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna try building another version out of the seal pool. And uh maybe find some people to play some some sealed rematches with, but overall I think this was the the deck I actually played, I think it was a lot of fun and everything. So, I'm not, too, and you know, I won two, I lost two, I broke even, so, and I got three prize packs, which I am going to crack right here, live, for everyone to enjoy. And let's see what we got. I love these packaging. It reminds me of the, uh, I think it's that same papery, it's the same papery packs they used to do for the unhinged and uh, unglued. Alright, we got Boba Fett. Uh, we got the red generic base. All right, I'm going to put these down here. Stuff that isn't sleeve. Imperial Interceptor, Resupply. Ooh, Metal Ceremony. I could have used that. That would be actually been a good uh, event to play in my deck. Another copy of Waylaid. Nice. We got a lot of AT-ATs in this one. Ooh, we got Chopper! We got Chopper and a Foil Wampa. Oh, Chopper is going in my Sabine deck. Um, yeah, it's going in my Sabine deck. Ooh, Chopper, 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 Chopper. Ooh, and we got Cassie and Andor back to back. Rare leaders. Nice. Man Center. Just look. Oh, Green Squadron A Wing. That needs to go into. 
My Sabine deck as a well wing leader. Shoot first. Z yeah, boy. Yeah. Ooh, and we got Zeb. We got Zeb. And Han. Nice. Nice. Oh, I'm happy about that. I am totally stoked about that. I love having get me some more Han. Oh, that would have been an epic one to actually crack for uh, Seal Pull. She is really good in limited. Being able to just heal. All right. Escort Sif, I actually got punished by somebody playing that. It just like came out of nowhere and really surprised me. Control nothing. Just that. Ambush is just so good. Alright, Sympathizer, I need to put that over for the deck. As for Sanctuary, that, oh, that was, that was annoying. Force Choke, ooh. Nice. I don't have non-vehicle. Patrol, Luke Skywalker. Nice, and Homestead Militia. Ooh. And I, I think the only... I think the only uh, main I miss, the only mains I'm missing, I think I need Leia's. I don't have, I don't think I have any Leia's. But I've got both uh, Leader Luke and Unit Luke. I got both matching for Han. I think I got, uh, do I have both of, yeah. I thought I might have both effects, but maybe not. No, I don't have the unit version for, for Fett yet, but Boba Fett. Yeah, yeah. No, this okay. These are some good packs. All right, I am done, and I think the bug has hit me. I, I, the art is comic booky, and I like it. And this this is just this is just fun. I I just sitting here and cracking packs and thinking about how the game works and everything. I I I am ready to jump whole hog onto this game. And everybody who knows me knows I love Star Wars um, almost as much as I love Transformers. So this is definitely. It's definitely my new jam, so... Whew, yeah. And it was great, too, because I got to talk to a bunch of people. They were actually uh, panned out. There was, like, three other people there that actually had heard of the Star Wars Decipher card game. So that's cool. So maybe maybe uh, I get my cube back from Maine and get down here. Maybe I can round up some games of Star Wars, both uh, Unlimited and the uh, Decipher game. But for now... I'm going to enjoy trying to figure out a deck to build uh, out of all this stuff and uh, waiting for my case to get in uh, in the mail. So hopefully I'll have some unbox. It would be really awesome if it shows up by next week, but I don't think so. So I think our next time we're going to be talking about Star Wars Unlimited is probably going to be in two weeks. Um... But hopefully we'll have some box breakings coming in the end. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all those things. Let YouTube know we're doing a good job. And I will see you next time. Peace. Hey, everybody. Thanks for staying till the end of the episode. Uh, remember to like, share, air, subscribe. Follow us on Facebook at Board Barista Productions. And if you want to support us, Patreon link at the bottom.